back of the gazebo, the crowd waits. She left me standing there without an answer. A case of nerves, no doubt. Hamish turns as a disheveled Alice arrives. Alice, good Lord. Are you all right? What happened to you? I fell down a hole and hit my head. Sorry, Hamish. I can't marry you. You're not the right man for me. There's that trouble with your digestion. Alice faces her sister. I love you, Margaret. This is my life. I'll decide what to do with it. Alice glares at Lowell. You're lucky to have my sister for your wife, Lowell. And you'll be good to her. You watch you very closely. She takes her aunt's hands. That is no prince, Aunt Imogen. You need to talk to someone about these delusions. She smiles kindly, then eyes Hamish's mother. I happen to love rabbits, especially white ones. She stops in front of her own mother. Don't worry, mother. I'll find something useful to do with my life. She glances at the brunette twins. You two remind me of some funny boys I met in a dream. The girls swap a look. Hamish's father steps forward. You've left me out. No, I haven't, sir. You and I have business to discuss. Shall we uh, speak in the study? Alice smiles warmly. The crowd parts, making a path for her as she goes. She pauses and turns around. Oh, and one more thing. Lifting her dress to mid-shin, she shuffles her feet in a flutter whacking. Aunt Imogene stifles a giggle. Alice struts away, later in the nobleman's study. My father told me he planned to expand his trade route to Sumatra and Borneo. But I don't think he was looking far enough. Why not go all the way to China? It's vast, the culture is rich, and we have a foothold in Hong Kong. It'll be the first to train with China, can you imagine it? They keenly regard each other. You know, if anybody else had said that to me, I'd say you've lost your senses. But I've seen that look before. Uh -huh. I said, I'm not going to be my daughter-in-law. Perhaps you'd consider becoming an apprentice with the company. A smile spreads across Alice's lips. Now at a busy seaport, two ships float alongside a dock as travelers and workers bustle. Aboard one ship, Alice wears the same blue coat as in the White Queen's garden. The industrious girl climbs a stepladder from a lower deck and stands at the vessel's bow. As sailors unmoor the ship, Alice smiles at her mother and Margaret standing on the dock. Mrs. Kingsley gives a small wave. Beside the two women, Hamish's father grins. Alice turns to the front of the ship and walks toward the bowsprit. As she gazes out at the sea, a butterfly with light blue wings lands on her shoulder. Hello, Alice. She smiles and watches the butterfly flap his wings, lifting off her shoulder. He glides through the air, then flutters his wings and soars higher. As our view pulls back, Alice and the ship recede before us. Fade to black.